welcome you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to make a simple video on how to cut and sew your off shoulder flay dress okay off shoulder flay dress so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your off shoulder flay dress our shoulder measurements are round shoulder bust waist hip and your gown length before then don't forget to join us on facebook city designs on instagram city designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website and the link to our website is going to be in the description box below so what are you waiting for click on that button okay we have fashion illustration fashion topics that are explained in my webs <laughs> so we have detailed fashion illustration on various fashion topics on my website and i hope you guys check it out so that you can also learn on that platform so let's go ahead now and calculate our measurements so our shoulder measurement is basically like your regular shoulder measurement and for your round shoulder what this simply means is that you are basically going to place your tape measure across your shoulder this way so note that when you are placing your tape measure across your shoulder that is round ensure that it is not tight okay because if you take your measurement this way if you take your measurement this way tight this way you will discover that i can't lift up my arms right and i'm sure you don't want to make a dress where you can't really lift up your hand like what is the essence of making the dress so while you are placing your tape measure across or around your shoulder please endeavor that it is free enough like free your tape measure so that you can raise up your hand free freely okay free it so that you can raise up your hand freely compared to when you tighten it like this like you want to tighten your chest <laughs> so ensure that you free your tape measure while taking your measurement so for me now i have 47 inches for my round shoulder so let's go ahead now and calculate our measurement basically so our shoulder measurement is 14 14 14 divided by 2 we have 7 inches our round shoulder is 45 45 plus 2 inches we have 47 inches our bust is 36 36 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11 inches our waist is 30 inches 30 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 9.5 inches our hip is 38 38 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11.5 inches so the reason why we have plus 2 is basically your sewing allowance so your plus 2 simply means your sewing allowance now our gown length is 45 inches plus 2 inches plus two inches for our hemming allowance we have 37 inches another thing you should also take note of when you are cutting your off shoulder flay dress is this is off shoulder and we said our gown length is 35 plus two inches we have 37 inches you are also going to take off some measurements and that will determine where your dress starts from and also note that the number of inches you take off totally depends on you okay and how off you want it to be so you can go ahead and take away five inches six inches it depends on how deep you want it to be and wherever you take it up to that is where your dress is basically going to start from so if you don't want to really expose your shoulder you can go ahead and take three inches or four inches five it depends on you. you can go as deep as seven inches it all depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day so for me now I'm going to go ahead with about five to six inches and I'm going to explain that how to get that in the cutting part of this tutorial so you can go ahead now and deduct your six inches from this the reason why I took off six inches is because my off shoulder I am taking away six inches so I'm going to have 31 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your off shoulder flay dress if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment area please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on and don't forget to visit our website 
okay and also check us check us out on our facebook page instagram page and all the details are going to be in the description box below trainings are available both online training and physical training and all the details are going to be in the description box below so now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial so guys i'm going to be making use of this african print so the first thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and fold my fabric and because what we want to achieve is a flesh shape i'm going to fold my african print to give us a flesh shape okay so what we are going to do now is to go ahead and fold this into two folded the fabric now into two the next thing you are going to do is to go ahead and fold it this way to give you a triangle shape okay so you just go ahead and fold it this way you can see what i did and this is basically what we have so i'll go ahead now and straighten this up guys after folding my fabric in a triangle shape this is what i have now the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark where you are going to have your shoulder measurements and don't forget that what you have is off shoulder now you can see i don't know if you guys can see the marking of this chalk i don't know if you guys can see the marking of this chalk because i think like it's not really clear so i'm going to be using my marker to chalk the back side of this fabric note that i am just doing this because i want you guys to see clearly if you are marking yours please ensure that you use a chalk to mark yours okay so please oh, don't use like your marker to mark your fabric i'm just doing this for the sake of this tutorial and so that you guys can also see what i'm doing clearly so now we want to get our bust measurement obviously you are going to place your tape measure where you will have your bust measurements so our bust measurement is around 11.5 inches you can see that we don't have it around this part you can see that you can't find your bust measurement around this point so you are basically going to move this down until when you find your bust measurements and also know that the fact that what you have is going to be free okay it's not fitted it's free so you go ahead and add four to five inches it totally depends on how free you want it to be and actually the beauty of this style is when it's actually free so i'm just going to go ahead now and mark this point so at this point now i have 15 inches for my bust okay i have 15 inches for my bust and this is where i marked my 15 inches you can see that with this marker is actually very clear but it's not advisable please so now we want to get our length our gown length is 35 inches because it's off shoulder also you are going to deduct the number of inches you want off and you mark your length okay the number of inches you want off your off shoulder and then you mark your length note that if you are making it of five inches six inches seven inches you are basically going to place it at this point because this line here automatically means that this is where your dress is starting from so if you want your off shoulder to be five inches away six inches seven inches or three inches you don't want it to be too off go ahead and place whatever inches you are taking away at this point which is this line so at this point now you can see what we have i'll go ahead and mark my gown length okay so i'll just place my tape measure this way i'll go ahead and mark my gown length so this is what we have now you place your tape measure also you have i'm making use of six inches off so i place my tape measure this way at this other side to give me like my flesh shape and then i'll mark what i have i'll also place it at this point so i'm basically just placing it to have like my flesh shape at this lower side of the dress so i'll go ahead and connect the lines together so once i connect the lines together you can see what we have so that is for the length of the dress now at this point now where you folded your fabric you discover that this part all the edges are folded okay this is your center front because all the edges are folded and at this other part where you have two pieces opened this way and this part is folded this is where you are going to have your arm o. so don't make a mistake of cutting it at this point so now we we'll go ahead now and mark your shoulder measurement so our shoulder measurement now is 
7 inches you mark your 7 inches but because what we have like I said that it is actually very free okay actually very free so now we've marked our shoulder measurements which is 7 inches you can see that even as at this we still have so much for our fabric and that is fine but what we made use here is our bust measurements which is 15 inches now you want to get your arm hole I took away 6 inches from this point I took away 6 inches let me zoom it in Okay, I took away 6 inches from this point. That means that I placed my tape measure 6 inches at this point, which happens to be where our dress is starting from. And my arm O is basically 9 inches. So I'll go ahead now and mark 9 inches. So this is what I have. So if what you have for your off shoulder is 4 inches, you place it at this point and then you mark your normal arm O length. Now, you can see that what we have here now for our shoulder is 7 inches. You also go ahead and add as many inches as possible. And note that the number of inches you add will depend on how free your dress is going to be around the shoulder area. So I'll go ahead now and add about 5 inches to it. So this is what I have I've added about five inches to it. So I'm basically going to connect this line now to where we have our arm O. And I'm going to make use of my pattern master to connect this. And pattern masters are available at our store. So this is basically what we have. It's actually very, very easy to achieve at the end of the day. This is what it looks like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm basically going to go ahead now and cut off this line, cut off my arm O line, and also cut off our gown length. So once I'm done with that, I'll basically show you guys what it looks like. So guys, now I've gone ahead now to cut this out. You can see that I've cut out the lower parts where we have our length. I've also gone ahead to cut out where our main fabric is and also our arm o. So the next thing we are basically going to do now is to go ahead and cut out the stripe which we are going to use for this upper part of the dress. So I'll go ahead now and set this. We want to cut out the upper part which is going to serve as our stripe. So this is basically what I have for it. Now don't forget that our round shoulder is 47 inches. So what we have for our round shoulder now is 47 inches but you are not cutting exactly your 47 inches because you basically need like an extra piece so that you can tie it at one side. And also it is advisable that you have like a single piece all the way. So now for the wideness the wideness totally depends on you how wide you want it to be and don't forget that you are basically going to fold it like this into two so this is basically what you are going to have so if you want it to be bigger you can go ahead and increase your length and if you want it to be smaller you can go ahead and reduce your length so for me now the wideness of it is six inches for the wideness of this cape i have six inches by the time i go ahead and and fold it into two I'm going to have three inches this way across my shoulder and once I stitch about half inch I'm going to have two inches across my shoulder which is actually fine now for the length of the fabric our shoulder circumference is 47 inches I went ahead to add about 15 inches extra to it and the reason why I added extra to it is because we are basically going to tie it so note that you have to have like your basic shoulder circumference and also you add inches to it so the number of inches you add to your circumference depends on how long you want your stripe to be and of course the longer it is the more you can have like so much fabric to tie it just to give you like any design you basically want so this is what is we are going to have so the next thing we are going to do now is to couple them up together the gown and we have this long piece as our rope okay so just go ahead now and fold this into two so by the time you place it here basically like i'm just trying to like test run this so that you guys can have a clue of what it's going to look like so can you see guys so by the time you place this here this is what it's going to look like but the first thing you are going to do now when you want to couple this up is to go ahead and open this into two go ahead and open your fabric into two you are going to have two pieces 
open up your fabric you are going to have two pieces one piece for the front block and one piece for the back block so the thing you are going to do or the first thing you are basically going to do now is to go ahead and aim your arm o. so go ahead and aim your arm o. you are having the two arm o on this side and also the two arm o on this second side so once you are done aiming it and you can basically aim it with either a bias or you can just fold it and stitch on it you can just fold it and stitch on it you just give your arm o like a neat finishing so once you are done now you go ahead with your stripes fold your stripe into two fold your stripe into two and then you just indicate the midpoint of it so basically that's just what we want to achieve you are going to like fold this into two and then what you are going to do now is you are basically going to attach your stripe this way this is your stripe you want to stitch your stripe now to this piece okay you're basically just attaching this stripe to this piece and at this part now so this is what you're going to have you just attach it to this part you can see so basically let me set this aside so that you guys can get what i'm trying to say so basically this is one piece this is your front block now and then you have your long stripe this way now you are basically going to we've notched the middle point of this stripe this is our midpoint we are placing our midpoint now at this middle point of the front block what you are going to do now is just to basically go ahead and attach your band or the upper part to this part so you just stitch it this way can you see by the time you stitch it and it turns up this way this is basically what you are going to have so you, you also go ahead now and stitch it this other side you are basically going to stitch this other side by the time you flip it up this way you are going to have this so i'll basically just go ahead now and attach this band to the neckline of what we have so you are just attaching your band to this neckline so once i'm done i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys now we've gone ahead now to couple this up you can see what we have we've coupled our band now on this piece and you also discover that we have extra piece on both sides this is because what we have for the band was more than the fabric right like i explained earlier so we are going to make use of this extra piece now to tie it or to give it like a knot while for the other piece also you are basically going to have the same thing for the other piece so the other piece also you've also gone ahead to fold it, to fold it and then you have extra piece on both sides so what you are going to do basically is just to place your front block on, on your back block this way make sure that the shoulders are equal okay so this is what we have <coughs> So this is what we have you can see you go ahead now and place your front block on your back block and this is basically what you have so the next thing you are going to do now is actually very easy you are going to go ahead with about one inch one inch or one and a half inches it depends on what you have for your allowance and then you go ahead and stitch this starting from this arm o. so you are going to stitch from this arm o all the way down and for the other part also for the other part also you are also going to go ahead now and place both block on each other and then you go ahead with your sewing allowance and you stitch what you have from your arm o all the way down once you are done your dress is ready now for the lower part of your dress you can decide to go ahead and aim it you can decide to go ahead and aim the lower side and fold it or you can decide that you just want to weave it so it depends on what you want for the lower side so i'll go ahead now and stitch this and show you guys what it looks like don't forget hi guys so after coupling it up this is basically what we have you can see that we have a single piece we have our stripes and this is what it looks like so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and fix this on the mannequin so that you guys can see if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on so let's go ahead now and put this on the mannequin and then let's see what we have 
hi guys so once you are done this is basically what it looks like i don't know if my mannequin is doing justice to it enough but like this is basically what it looks like and you can see like your flay effect and this is what it looks like okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video you can see we went ahead to tie it on both sides just to give it like a very nice not and i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe let me know if you have any question in the comment section or any video you want us to make i'll see you guys in my next one bye, bye.